everybody. Uh, we're so thankful to have everybody in the community here coming together today uh, to the uh, Paradise Fire uh, benefit. Uh, it's benefiting the victims of the, the campfire up in Paradise. And the Davis community, of course, not surprisingly, has just shown up in a huge, huge crowd here at the Senior Center today uh, to help Russ celebrate and sort of raise money for those victims. Uh, and we have um, uh, two bands, uh, uh, Catered and uh, Davis Media Access are here. We have a couple of Sudworks Pour and Beer, three or four different food trucks, Woodstock's Pizza. It's really, really awesome. And we have uh, are really hoping to raise a bunch of money for the fire victims up in Paradise, up in Butte County. Um, you know, I think the thing that's amazing is this is the second year we've done this. Last year, uh, after the f fires in Sonoma and Napa County, we had a similar event. Uh, this year, we had to have it inside because of the bad air quality. But we are so amazed at the turnout. Um, this is such a hallmark of Davis, where people just show up uh, and support uh, events like this and are willing to help support our neighbors in need. Come on up. Come on. here today with KDRT volunteers and a lot of Davis Media Access staff because in times of community need this is what community media does. We come together, we help build bridges and we help get out the word about what's going on. So big shout out to all the volunteers, the vendors who are making this happen and the other organizers. And I really think it's about kindness. You know when kindness disappears from the national dialogue we got to do it at the local level. So thanks to everybody who supported this. First of all, I, I want to thank uh, Supervisor Don Saylor. He's a longtime friend of mine uh, when he was a city councilman, and I've been a 17-year city councilman in Paradise, and so we've been friends uh, for years. I was born and raised in Davis. My dad, who's uh, 93, and my brother still live here at the same house I grew up in, so uh, this is terrific. Uh, in fact, Don texted me this morning and asked me if I was going to still be there because there was uh, POTUS was going to be in town, and I said, um, no, I'm going to be there. Um, I won't tell you the words I said exactly, but um, the choice was, let's see, um, Davis, Sudwork Beer, Mumbo Gumbo playing, and Friends versus the President of the United States. It was no contest. Here I am. So things are tough up there. It is uh, ugly. Everybody I've talked to said they've never seen anything so um, devastating. Um, you'll find one house standing out of a hundred. Um, every member of our city council lost their homes. Uh, my, my daughter and her husband who works for Cal Fire lost their home. My movie theater that I own there is still standing, but without the population of about 58,000 people between Paradise and Megalia and the surrounding communities were effectively out of business. So it's pretty sad um, that you can have something that survives and so it's going to be difficult for the next eight to ten years really until we can recover but we like to say Paradise is is not gone it's just closed for remodeling. I'm John Waterman. I'm uh, in the Paradise Rotary Club, and this sign is from Paradise. And I want to thank Davis and all the contributions. Our town was um, totally destroyed up there in the town of Megalia, and all of your support today is going to mean a lot to a lot of people, and I'm grateful for what you're doing. And um, 
I don't know what else to say. Do you want me? I used to be in Davis Rotary. Yeah. Do you so, want that connection? Or? Why don't you tell us about three months from now when okay. we're less aware of what's going on up there, where can people send donations to Paradise Rotary? Okay, so in three months when FEMA's gone and the Red Cross is gone, it's going to be the Paradise Rotary Club. We have a, a Paradise Rotary Foundation. Um, right now we've got a GoFundMe uh, uh, going on, and uh, the GoFundMe is Paradise Strong. Also, if you ever shop on Amazon, if you go to smile.amazon.com and pick the Paradise Rotary Foundation as your charity, we'll get half a cent of every dollar you spend. And in three months, you know, that's when the real work starts. That's when we start to rebuild. That's when um, everybody, the Red Cross and FEMA, are gone. And uh, that's when we're going to need more help. So please consider keeping us in your minds come Valentine's Day. Um, do something nice for uh, the Paradise Ridge. So my role in this is helping organize some music and some people to come out and we're really excited uh, to get a lot of people involved. Uh, music makes everything more fun and, and uh, brings more people to the table and uh, there's a great generous spirit of creativity in town. Uh, so I reached out to our first band, Mike Blanchard and the Californios, and at the same time I was sending them an email, they were sending me an email asking if they could participate and that's the sort of thing that we've been uh, experiencing all week and organizing this. Uh, trying to get more people involved and spread the word and, and make something really positive and joyful out of a, a really difficult time and, uh, and hope that uh, should anything uh, happen in our immediate area that our neighbors uh, around us would do the same for us. Uh, it's really just about being, being good humans and that's what we're trying to do. I'm here at the fundraiser for the victims in Paradise, and I'm really proud to be part of this community. This is uh, what I am used to the city of Davis doing when there's a crisis. I've uh, had personal crisis of my own, and uh, and I've been and I've participated in other events that the city has done. And we uh, did this last year, unfortunately, and we hope that this does doesn't become something that we have to do every year, but if it is, I I'm, can be sure that the community will come together. At the Davis Senior Center, uh, we in the last two weeks we've we've come together as a community here in in Yolo County in Davis uh, to help our neighbors in Butte County and the City of Paradise and surrounding areas. It's just so hard to imagine that the whole town is gone. This is not a one-week thing. It's something that's going to take years and years for the people to recover if the, if the city ever does. We think about what makes the fabric of community. Buildings like the Senior Center here, our high schools, our movie theaters, the places we go to congregate. But more than that, it's the people. And in, in Davis here, we keep, to come, we keep coming together when it's time. We come together to make something happen that's much bigger than ourselves. It didn't take, didn't take us very long to pull this together. In fact, it's Saturday now, just last Thursday, we decided to move the event and, we, and people are here. We're expecting over 500 people here today. Uh, we know that there are seven, more than 70 people have died in the Paradise area. There are still 600 or more that are missing. The news is just going to keep, keep coming out for, for a few weeks, I'm afraid, maybe longer. But here in Davis, today, we can't change the world, but we're going to help those people we can. Yeah.